Hello everybody and welcome back to Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Philosophy Pavel. In the last episode we, I don't know, Snape just like bullied us a little bit. And in this episode we're going to take on a actual like big ass troll. Because that is just what we do apparently. And I don't know how long it's going to take us. And if that's going to be everything we do this episode. I feel like we might be doing a little something more than that. Because it it doesn't feel like this will take like... 15 to 20 minutes. Then again, I didn't think the... that is... Sadly enough, that's probably the best looking model in this game. At least character models. Um, I, I remember this now. Yeah, no, this is actually not that bad. I was... I think I was remembering the... I was gonna say Kingdom Hearts 1. Uh, the, Kingdom Hearts has nothing to do with Harry Potter. Imagine that! Kingdom Hearts and Harry Potter crossing over. That would be weird. Would that work? I'm thinking, would that work? It'd be weird. But would it be the good kind of weird or the bad kind of weird? It's never gonna happen, don't get me wrong. But, uh... I feel like it'd be the bad kind of weird. Then again, Kingdom Hearts has pulled off some... some way weirder shit, like Pirates of the Caribbean, which... Actually, now that I think about it, isn't even that weird. Compared to if it were to do Harry Potter. Yeah, I think there's like literally almost nothing that would be weirder for Kingdom Hearts to cross over with than Harry Potter. <laughs> and that is a checkpoint in the middle of running away from a troll. So yeah, this is actually not that difficult. As a matter of fact, this is ridiculously easy. So we're definitely going to be doing uh, something else. I thought this was... more difficult. Also, didn't you say Hermione was in trouble and then lead the troll into the bathroom where Hermione was? Hold on, Ron. That doesn't seem quite right. That seems like you're trying to get a kill. Which... I respect. Uh, so... You are going to win Guardian Leviosa, the club, and I just have to... I'm sorry about that, Ron. Uh, but you can't die, so I don't really care. I just have to destroy everything he throws at us. This is a... You know... Troll, if you were just to walk over to us and, like, hit us, or kick us, we'd be dead. Though, I guess trolls are not known for being particularly smart, are they? That's the whole thing, they're like, all brawns, no brains. So, yeah, I do suppose it makes sense. But then again, if you're all brawns and no brains, you would expect... Shit. Um, you would expect to just, like, walk up to your enemy and absolutely annihilate them, right? But he doesn't do that. So, why? I know that I'm, like, critiquing something that doesn't make any sense and why am I complaining about this? Frankly, because I've got nothing else to complain about at the moment because this is just very tedious. Let's complain about that! Also, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna stand in front of Ron or next to Ron, so that everything he throws at Ron will be thrown in my general direction as well. And as a result, I'll be able to hit everything. I probably should have done that from the start, but, uh... Because I've been missing... You know what? That, that works. Uh, I've been missing a lot of things thrown at Ron, because I cast a spell, and then I miss the spell, and... Just like that. <laughs> I don't know why sometimes I hit it, and sometimes I don't. There doesn't seem to be a lot of logic behind it. Can I just do this? Oh my god, that is probably a way better way to do it, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so just spam click. Okay, that does not work, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was gonna work. Am I going to be able to do this for 10 minutes without winning? Because that would be kind of impressive if I were. Unlikely, but it would be impressive. I mean, we're not even five minutes into the episode, and... See, I keep missing things. Can I stand behind Ron? Because that might actually help me even more. Okay, so no, that does not help me more. Okay, so this is just stupid and doesn't work. Have I won? I have not won. <laughs> this also takes way too long. Also, partly because... I keep letting Ron get hit, which... Obviously, sets back progress on the uh, Wingardium Leviosa. But, uh, yeah. Kind of a tedious process here. I'm not gonna lie. 
It really looks like the club is thank you. Are you all right? I could have done that way quicker. Well, he's still moving, so clearly he's not bad. I thought you were supposed to be the smart one. Um, I think that's not something about getting the golden snitch, so maybe we're going to do some more quibbage first, which means uh, that'll be like another minute of content. And there's some story going on, but we don't care about that. We all know the story of the Harry Potter books, films, games. Any other type of media. I wanted to say Twitter as a joke, but then I remember J.K. Rowling is like very active on Twitter. And like, that dude just fell off his broom. Okay. <laughs> and let's not talk about J.K. Rowling on Twitter. Uh, let's play Quidditch. Yeah, I haven't had these Quidditch controls in a while. So, um, excuse me for a moment while I try to get used to them again. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's win this now. Uh, I think you can literally not even lose this, even if you tried. You know what? Let's try to lose this. You know what? No, I can't be bothered. Let's just win this. Oh my god, I hate the inverted controls. At least this time it's taken a little bit longer than last time. And for some reason you have to right click instead of left click to grab the snitch, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me, because right click is also boosting. Actually, that does make sense, because you're boosting to get it, I suppose, but still. I mean, it didn't even take a minute, did it? It might have taken a minute because I was screwing up. I don't know if that's the last Quidditch match. In theory, there should be three Quidditch matches each game. So, maybe? Yeah, so next up we're going to do... The Norbert thing. But for that, we first need to have the invisibility cloak. Which I think we got for the library. So we're going to have to do the library. Yeah, Christmas present. Just don't we do the library at all? Are they combining Norbert and the library in this game? Because those are two very distinctly different chapters. They can't. No, they can't, because the library is when you find the Mirror of Erosad. And also, don't bring the dragon into the common room, you idiots. <laughs> Who thought that was a good idea? Because, spoiler, it's not. That's a bad idea. If you're trying to get caught... Okay, so we're doing this, and I guess we're doing the library later. I could have sworn you did a library before the the Norbert stuff. I'm 99% sure in like the book, Harry gets the cloak and then goes to the library first. He hurt me, he hurt me, he hurt me. So yeah, you're not uh, allowed to walk too closely to Filch because or cast spells too close to him because he can hear you. And when you cast spells, you also become visible for gameplay reasons. But let's just call them gameplay reasons. Let's see. Filch is now going back there, which means that I can... Uh, why? Why does my spell not work? Hold on. Thank you. There we go. And we do that over and over and over again until... We're at the very end, where also Filch has his own secret corridors, because we need a way to have him in the next map, and the next map, and the next map as well. I don't know how many maps there are where we have to do this. I don't think there's a lot in this game. Oh, hello, Filch. You here? I think maybe it's not this game. Maybe it's the next game where you also have an element of distraction. Where you can flopando things like vases and stuff like that. Um. Okay, so now we definitely have that here as well, because otherwise we can't make it through here anymore. I also remember, but that might be a PlayStation version thing. I haven't played all of these games. Why would you ever? 
not be in front of the door is my question. Uh, I don't know. Uh, just stay in front of the door and I can't ever progress. That is the ultimate strategy. If you're trying to prevent somebody from going into the, restric the restricted section of the library, just stand in front of the only door leading to it. That seems like an effective way. You have your cat to patrol the corridors anyway, so you don't need to do that yourself. And apparently you and your cat together are like psychic or something like that, so... Yeah, Filch can't actually walk through the door, by the way. So if he's following you and he's like very close to you and you make it through the door, you're fine. The moment you walk through the door, he's like, ah, what was that? Must have been the wind. That is a uh, Skyrim reference for anybody that didn't get that. I think it's Skyrim. Is it Oblivion? Pretty sure that's a Skyrim thing, not an Oblivion thing. But I haven't played either game in a while because... Uh, I was looking into doing a Skyrim randomizer because that is a thing. And I still think that would be a fun thing to do at a uh, certain point. But... Don't catch me. Don't catch me. Yeah, yeah, I have. Um, but it, it's a very, like, break breakable thing. I already broke the bookcase to do that. Or pushed over the bookcase to do that. Don't worry, Harry. Uh, so maybe that's a fun thing to, like, do on stream at some point. Uh, Skyrim randomizer, but we'll see. We'll see. For the time being, we need to make it through this library, which isn't that difficult, as you can clearly see, because I'm talking about Skyrim while I'm doing it. Every single time, it does become a little bit more tricky and you have to do more different things to get through the through the doors, but it's not that big of a deal, even though I don't know how to actually get through here. Huh. Uh, I don't have to, because obviously the next step is a Alhamora, which... I can just do. Please be invisible. Damn it! I was... If I didn't have that cutscene there... I, I'm sorry for going off screen every single time I have to readjust, but this chair is not brilliant for my back. Uh, better than the one I was sitting on before because that one was just broken, but this one still isn't great. Um, so yeah, if I didn't have that cutscene, I would have gone invisible in time for him not to catch me. So let's not do the same mistake again. And just wait for him to come here, see me, and leave. Yeah, you will. We know it, Filch. You, Filch never actually does anything. <laughs> like, what is the... I, I, I'm literally trying to think, right? When was Filch even remotely competent in any of the books? Probably because he never sleeps. That's probably why he's so bad. Also because he's trying to, like, well, take care. Well, not really take care. Uh, he's a janitor at a school for magical kids while not being able to do magic himself. Puts him at a severe disadvantage if he has to, like, discipline or, uh, or whatever. So, maybe not the best of ideas, Dumbledore. Maybe not the best of ideas. It makes you look very progressive and inclusive, but in reality, it just makes you kind of a dick. Look, I employed this non-magical guy! And I made him clean up an entire castle on his own, without magic, even though any of the other teachers and most of the students can clean things so much quicker and so much easier with magic. Which also begs the question, why is that even like cleaning up to... And there's also a, like a small army of house elves. Um, why is there like even a need for anybody to clean? I mean, this is a bit of like an ignorant way to think about it maybe. But if all the students can clean up after themselves without too, too much trouble by just like waving the wand, why doesn't everybody just do that all the time? 
it's not that inconvenient either, right? Because you could say, well, it's an inconvenience to do that and stuff like that, but is it though? Well, I don't know how inconvenient it is to do magic because sadly I can't. Still waiting on my Hogwarts ladder. I'm 24 and counting, but I'm sure it's still coming. I'm sure it is. It has to at some point, right? My owl just got very, very lost. That's all. Surely. Oh, another thing is I'm about to cast Lumos to create some uh, platforms to walk on. Yeah, Phil doesn't see those either for some reason. And apparently my feet are also invisible even though I'm wearing a cloak. Which is actually like a, well not a plot point, but it's like a, a plot device, a scene device? In the sixth Harry Potter book where Harry actually like climbs up somewhere and Malfoy can see his shoes because it's a cloak that he puts on his head, meaning that, yeah, if you were to like hang off of something, you could look up it, meaning that you could see some parts of the person wearing it. Nope, not here. Just like touching it makes you magically invisible. Well, it being magically isn't really like a valid criticism, <laughs> I guess. I don't know, I, I just want to get this over with because we're about 20 minutes into this episode as well and this is going to take a while. So let's flip under that and see what that does. That opens up that gate which then probably closes off Filch from me. Does it? Okay, so Filch is now just gone. I think there might only be one more map because this one is actually fairly complicated. Uh, more so than I uh, expected it to be. So I'm expecting this to take me to the end of this map, because Filch is now not here anyway. Oh no, no, I remember now. It does combine the Mirror of Erisad with, with this part of the game. It does. We are about to run into the Mirror of Erisad. Which means that, let's, let's keep that as our end point for this episode then. Uh, though I don't know if that's on our way back, because I think we also have to do our way back. Uh, right away after this, we go into the forest, which uh, will be an episode in and of itself, but there'll probably be a little bit of this in that episode as well. We'll see. I don't actually remember too much about what is about to happen here, but I am fairly sure that we are about to enter into like the, the room with the mirror, which... Yeah, they, they just combine two chapters. Two entirely, like, unrelated chapters with, like, entirely different, like, plot points and relevance. <laughs> Which, honestly, I'm a little bit annoyed that they did. I got it, but I'm also a little bit annoyed. So this surely is... Still not a mirror. Is it? Is it? No, this is the... Do they not combine the mirror and this? Now I'm very confused. The mirror has to be on the way back. Because this is the part where we set an orbit free. This is the tower. And we have to rotate the bridge to even get to the tower. And we have to... Yeah, I, I remember now. We actually do have to uh, flip under some vases. Because... Oh, this can't be good. That can't be good. Oh, he didn't even hear me. Never mind. I thought he was right after me, but uh, no, no, he's not. The camera really doesn't work with me, though. I wish I could sneak. Wait, can I? No! <laughs> that was almost very bad. I think, yeah. There we go. Now the tricky part starts. I'm not letting anyone into that tower tonight. But why? Just out of spite? Well, it's Filch, so probably just out of spite, yeah. I think from this distance I can cast for Pando. Oh, by the way, I tried to crouch with control and that also works as spell casting. For reasons. I'm too far away. That doesn't work. Um, 
Wait, how am I supposed to cast Flipando on these things? Do I actually have to walk over there? Because that doesn't seem like a good idea for me at all. Peeves, that's how. I remember now. You keep saying that. Is that... Is that a mechanic that they introduce now for when you go back? Or can I... Oh, I bet I can flipando them now on a distance, right? If I don't clip into a wall with my camera that is. No, I can't. Phil still can't see me because he's very, very blind. I mean, realistically speaking, I could just, like, sneak past him, right? Yep, no, I can't. <laughs> Can I? Because I, I might be able to. I, I, I'm going to try. Oh, that that's annoying. That I have to... Actually, that's not that annoying. Um, I'm going to give it one shot, just, like, trying to run past him, because that might just work. <laughs> Because the moment I like enter the loading zone for the uh, for the next cutscene, I'm safe. So I might just be able to like run around him enough to the point where no 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 no. <laughs> yeah, you can't see this because it's magical and you can't see magic. Even though squibs can see the mantas, so maybe those things aren't actually there. And Harry is just really really good at judging where they should be. I mean, visibly, yeah. This episode's been a long one so far. Let's try to wrap things up a little. Okay. I don't know if I want to risk having to redo all of that again. I mean, I know it's literally just like 40 or 50 seconds of work, but at this point, that is more than I'm willing to invest into this. I just want to finish up and go into the Forbidden Forest. Uh, and... Potentially do the Mirror of Arrows at two? Maybe? A little? I don't know. Peeves. You'll be banished for this. Yeah, Peeves, wadi la 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 la. I'm sure that casting a spell from this distance will make me visible to him, right? Or not? <laughs> He's just a blind idiot. I am still convinced that you can probably do that without breaking the vase, because I got really close there the first time without even like trying to actually go in. So I'm convinced that you actually can do that. That being said, we have some story to go through here now, and then on our way back, our, I think the Mirror of Eros might just be a cutscene now about it so we might just watch that as well and then go into the forest but then the whole punishment thing doesn't make sense because we also ran into Dumbledore and surely Dumbledore wouldn't I don't know we'll be seeing that next episode until then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you have enjoyed this video which hopefully you have it's been a long one see you back next time for Mirror of Erisets and potentially the Forbidden Forest I don't know we're going places. Uh, now on the way back, we also have Mrs. Norris to come down with, and she can actually see through the invisibility cloak and stuff. So uh, that is a thing we have to do again next time. Not this time. See you then. I'm trying to stall for this cutscene to end to see if there's another cutscene. I don't think there is, but I just want to be sure. So wait. There we go.